to like think to myself, what can I do to bring joy today? Well, I'm going to clean the yard. But before I do, I'm going to share some of my treasures just for fun. And one of my first treasures is Eddie Vedder, Into the Wild soundtrack. If you ain't seen that movie, Into the Wild, it is freaking amazing. It saved my life. Why? Because no man is an island. Um, you can think you want to be alone, but when you actually get that, it doesn't feel as good as you thought it would, and you will eventually search out people. Yup. True story. Not gonna ruin the ending for you if you never saw it. His soundtrack, Eddie Vedder, Into the Wild, from the movie, is my go-to. I could listen to that fucking forever. Why? Well, because it's Eddie Vedder. <laughs> that rhymes. No, but seriously, the words from A to Z of that song, of that album, sorry, are just like... Yeah, I could have wrote that shit. That's how fucking that resonates with me. I may have my indignation, but I'm pure in all my thoughts. I'm alive. Fuck yeah. So, treasure time. I'm gonna switch the camera. There's one of my treasures, my cat. Funny shows his ass on YouTube. Well, enjoy. <clears throat> one of my treasures, where I'm living now. Why do I say now? Because my assignment here is almost done and I will be stationed somewhere else soon. Does it sound weird to talk like that? Well, it's how I think. I have been stationed somewhere different since I was six years old. So I've learned to just like roll with it, enjoy it, and know that the wind, my heart, and well, at first it was my parents leading me to be honest, because I was little, but they followed the wind and their hearts as well. So, you know, yeah. same thing. Here's one of my treasures. My bear bow. I love it. Oh, here, my camo pants. They're even velvet. I know. Who has camo velvet pants? I do. I fucking love camo. Said it before. We'll say it again. It's just my favorite color. I don't give a fuck if you think it's a print. It's a color for me. Yeah, so the story of my bear bow is a story about manifestation. This one time, I fell in love with a wooden bow, and it was like $300 Canadian, which is not that bad for the fact that it was like fucking beautiful, fucking craftsmanship, and just perfect. And so I told the guy, um, is that the best price you can do for me? And he said yes, and I was like, okay, let me actually think about it. I'm not going to impulse buy, I'm going to think about it. And so, I, I was with my dad, I was at my dad's, and I went back to my dad's and I'm like, I'm going to get that bow on Monday or whatever day that I go home. And I go through town and get the bow. And he said, okay, you can get the bow, but like really, how often are you gonna use it? Do you really need a high quality bow for what you know how to do right now? And do you really wanna invest that money? He's like, have you even gone to a thrift shop yet? Or checked for a used bow online and I was like well duh, no dad I haven't I never even thought of that so I passed right by the bow shop it's actually for anglers but whatever um, yeah I like I don't like shopping very much but I like those places but I'm a fucking weirdo and um, so I passed right by the shop and the next Saturday I was alone and I decided to go to the hawk shops and look for bows. Well, there was none. So I got in my car and I thought, huh, why did my dad send me to a hawk shop if the perfect bow is not like waiting for me there? And I listened to my heart and my heart said, why don't you go online and check for used bows? So I went online and checked for used bows. And lo and behold, right there was a bow for 50 fucking bucks with arrows. Only two, but hey, 
their camo. I only need two. It's not a big deal. I'll get more when I can. So I called the dude. And he's like, whoa, nobody's called me for the bow. And then he tells me it's just a beginner bow. It's nothing like super fancy, but it does the job. And I was like, well, sold. That's what I need. Where are you? I'm on Lakeshore. He tells me where he is. And he's like, I got to go in a half an hour. I was like, I'm, I'm on my way. And he's like, you called just in time. And I was like, yes, I did. Just in time. Boom, boom, sink, sink, sink. Fast forward to spring and I have a bow. And I love it. Next treasure, my machete. I fucking love my machete. Why? Because I'm a fucking warrior. What do I do with my machete? Well, I don't slay dragons and I would never touch a human with it, but I will rock out and fucking clean up this yard with my machete. I've been asking my LAN for the last three days as I walk around, is it okay? Are you ready for me to do this? Do you want me to do this? And the LAN has given me full confirmation of yes. Michelle, go fucking slay those fucking overgrown shit. Have some fun. We need room to grow. So I'm pretty fucking pumped because I'm going to tie. I made my... I did that myself. I did. I made my fucking machete case, whatever you call it, by myself. I'm going to wrap my machete around my leg and start at the tip of my land to the north and head my way down fucking south. Sounds good, eh? And, you know, just if you're wondering what a machete looks like if you've never seen one, well, this is what my baby looks like. She has been fucking used. I got to tell you, when I say I like my machete, as you can see, she ain't fucking beautiful and all like, ooh, bodyguard, let's hang this up on the wall. She is used. She is actually so fucking sharp right now that I would not touch her right here. Oh, I just touched her. <laughs> yeah, so fucking sharp. I could do that fucking bodyguard thing in a heartbeat. Anybody remember that movie? You know, when uh, she's got the thing on the wall, or he does, I forget. And then the, brings up the scarf, and the scarf goes like, chop in half. I could do that. Maybe I'll chop one of my scarves later. Just for fun. <laughs> Anyways. We all got our way to have a fucking good day. And it's supposed to rain. It might. Well, I don't know. But I've been in and out all morning and everything says why would you stay in the house and clean it <laughs> when you could be outside cleaning the yard because yeah the house is a fucking mess anybody who's OCD would walk into my house and go holy fuck what happened here um you know the Easter egg hunt leftovers fucking there's some wrappers there's some wrappers there are fucking wrappers not everywhere but there's wrappers and I bought uh, little water balloons for my daughter and she's amusing herself by blowing them up in the house and tying them up and then leaving them randomly everywhere so that I step on them. Yes, it is prank week, like fucking year round around here. So I all of a sudden step on a tiny balloon that's like, I don't know, a couple inches big, don't even notice it and just pop, 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 pop everywhere. It's a fucking minefield of fucking balloons in my house right now. And yeah, it's fun. I'm going to spend the day outside, whether it rains or not. And yeah, the house won't clean itself. The mice don't do that. But hey, it's okay. I'll, I'll get to it when I get to it. Live, love, and laugh, right? Fuck it. You kind of put the shit aside you don't want to do until you want to do it, and then you do it in joy. It's a simple trick. You don't clean your house when you're all like, Grr, I don't want to clean my house, and I'm going to yell at the kid and tell her to do rah, 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 rah. You clean the house when you fucking want to clean the house, and you fucking do it like rocking out, laughing, and having fun. Yeah. Sounds crazy, but it works for me. Have a super fucking day.